Okay. Maybe I didn't go through entire thing of the coal or toilet here. It's Jeff the maintenance man, so let's do this. Come along, shall we? Coal or toilet has been sitting here a while. It's back in an apartment. It's been empty for a while. It's full of water. This is what you can expect when you take off your lid. Okay, let's see first of all, when I flush this, it's been here a while, how long this takes to fill up. Because one of my comments, and this is for you and you know who you are, says it takes forever for your toilet tank to fill up. Let's see. And the tube is in there and it should be shooting water out like that, by the way. We'll see how long this takes to fill up. And we'll see if we can't solve your problem. And, furthermore, keep watching because I'm going to be replacing this and showing you how to do it the easy way and the hard way. So this toilet was running, it's periodically running, overrunning. And it's just to the top of that, look at that. Just to the top of it. And so that's how long it takes this toilet to fill up. It depends on your water pressure, but the first thing you want, you're probably gonna wanna do is turn off the water. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to wanna do that. Flush the toilet. Again, there we go. Pull it flushed. <clears throat> All right, so if y'all were wondering, last time I was talking about the seal. Uh oh, my coat. My coat's over here. And I was talking about the seal on the the uh, thing of my bobber here. This flapper tube thing, or whatever you want to call it. We'll come up with a name. Put it in the comment section below. What name should... What should we call this? It's not a flapper anymore. It's a... Rocket ship or something. I don't know. Comment. What do you think that should be called? A toilet paper roll. Huh. That'll come in handy for the next part of this video. Alright. Um... What do I have that? Part number. This is the part number for that ring. It's GP1059291. Genuine color part. Right there. Instructions on how to do it on the back. Just a rubber o ring. Can't cost that much. Don't know how much it costs. Don't know where to find them. We go through a supplier, so please don't uh, ask me where to get them from. I, I expect you to get them from Kohler. Our supplier has them, so, um, but they only deal in commercial. So, anyway, while we're here, let's go over that one more time, and I'll show you actually how to replace that um, valve here, because this one needs it. The woman downstairs was complaining that this, see how that's just, oh, that's so nasty. Well, that's like a... Like beef that's been sitting too long. Like, so you just pull that off. Put this one on. Alright. Take this. And we're just going to stick it over the edges like this. Just stick, 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 stick. There we go. Bonito. So, like I said, you want to kind of line this notch up with that notch. In the last video, I said that. I'm trying to get an angle on it, but I don't think you'll be able to see, but you'll get the idea. Uh, sometimes these are pain in the ass, and this one's so slimy. Uh, that's 
nasty just to fix a running toilet. Yuck. But while I'm here, my god, what is going on? What is going on? There it is. Okay. Look, you're right there. Just sticking the you're right on it. Man. When I get the pivot head glasses that aren't shaded, that would have been so much easier. There. Alright, line it up. Quarter turn. Click, 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 pop, pop, pop. Get the greasy stuff and yeah. Why aren't you wearing gloves? Ugh. All right, real quick. So that's how you do that. All right, we got that out of the way. The part numbers, very detailed video there. Open up your kit. This one comes with a flapper. We won't be using that obviously for obvious reasons. Um, get the fill valve. You need a fill valve. This is the quick way. And I'll show you the hard way of doing it. And I'll show you another way of fixing maybe a slow toilet. First of all, you need to make sure that your supply line isn't clogged. So you take this off, take an ice dish or the ice thing out of, and uh, put this in there and crack the valve and blow out any debris that might be inside the pipe. Um, we do use uh, the stainless steel uh, ones, this one doesn't have it. I don't know why they use it, PEX, but uh, I don't like it. Because once you take it off, it, it always gonna leak. So, tech tip, take the lid off of here and put it underneath there if you're gonna be fiddling around with changing out the fill valve. But, this is the easy way of changing out a fill valve. Take the hose out. Underneath, well, I probably just jinxed it, but Underneath there's a ring. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's there, but I'm pointing to it. I'm trying to get an angle on it there. There's like this ring on the bottom. What I usually did get a hold of that ring. Yeah, this one's not gonna be so good to me, I don't think. Sometimes wiggling it will help out, but in this case, I think this thing's on there tighter than spit. But I might show you when I get it off. I mean, I will show you when I get it off. All right, another tech tip. Get your hand in there. Get as much water as you can out of that that toilet tank there, okay? While I have this though, I'm gonna show you a simple way of checking to see if this thing is clogged. Now, I, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance. I don't know where to get this part. Again, uh, the fill valves and stuff you can get at Walmart, but the part I'm about to show you, I don't know exactly where to get it but I'll show you. So I just lifted the red cap off of here, which is just stuck on there with two little uh, things that slide on these two pieces of plastic. And you're just gonna turn this to the left or the right until it comes up. And you'll notice that you can unclick this from, from the float. And you'll notice this piece of rubber here. Sometimes you can get away with cleaning it with your finger or whatever or you can get the piece of rubber to replace it but I don't know where to get that piece of rubber and it just pops out so I'm not this isn't the second method this is well I guess the first method but you can take that piece of rubber and replace it just that easy I'm gonna put this back on like this and just turn it, pick the float back up, and click it back on. And then you have fixed that problem. And snap the lid back on. And then you don't actually need this whole assembly. But let me show you the second method without doing this. Since this one's working fine, I'm not going to 
like mess with it too much but the method I was trying to show you is this ring you snap this up you can take and pull this out like I just did so pull this out and then this is inside the toilet so you would take your you would open that package and just take the half part of it and then sit this down on top of it getting it the same height as this would have been and then snap this ring back down on it turn back on your water hook back up your hose and it's good to go so that's that's some tricks and uh, things that you can do um, again if you have a slow toilet check that like I said you can you can snap off this thing open this up check that little rubber seal um, hold your hand over it like this and crack the valve if you if you want and then it might blast out some uh, grit calcium buildup whatnot and uh, you'll be in business for the next time so yep Jeff the maintenance man I hope this is uh, giving y'all a little tech tips and stuff like that um, a little tech tip about putting a lid on the floor is if you do decide to take the whole shebang out out like the nut and everything then the, the water in here just gonna go down there you'll be able to catch most of it in the lid and then you can just dump it over here into a shower because you are a sink um, to get rid of it um, most of the time I will have like a small um, container that I use it's like a half cut a gallon jug or something like that but I, I would just recommend just replacing it at your home if it's that bad of an idea it's just to get this whole uh, fill valve they used to be called ball cocks and look I hear everybody giggling right now yes I said it I said ball cock but yes you can just go ahead and do that the kit has all the little uh, washers and all that and instructions how to do it it's not that hard it's not that bad but as far as slow filling yes uh, flush this out you can take this cap off easiest way to check this take this cap off flip this over put your hand over this and then just go like that just crack the valve now you can go a little harder than that I'm just doing that for effect purposes but you know get some water going through there and that should flush out all the debris if any and come back here put the cap back on this flip it over Put your red cap back on or yellow cap if you have a yellow cap well, again like I said it's gonna be a slow fill so if your caps yellow it's gonna be a slow fill this one I think is considered a medium fill yeah so it's Jeff the maintenance man y'all have a great day I want to get out of here so bad all right Jeff the maintenance guy have a great one